So, all right, we are recording here. So, first of all, hi, Sophia. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for being here. Um, like I said in my, my post, um, showing up is half the battle. I mean, you know, you can talk and talk and talk about what you want in this business, but if you aren't going to um, actually show up, then and learn something or listen to the wake up call or be part of the team call, then you're kind of missing a huge piece of the puzzle. Um, sorry, I just got a message from another coach here. Okay. Um, so tonight I want to talk about the recruiting culture and how we can have more of a recruiting culture in our business because, um, I'm looking at all the faces here on the call here and every single one of you has told me I want more and whether that means time, freedom, flexibility, money, don't be ashamed. Who doesn't want to be financially free? Who doesn't not want to live paycheck to paycheck? It's totally okay because there's other people in other industries that do get the freedom and the flexibility and they don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. So there's nothing to be ashamed of if that's why you're here. Because I'll tell you, um, I'm in this business for multiple reasons, but a very important one is that I want to live my life the way I want to live it, when I want to live it, and doing as much as I want to do, right? Like, isn't that life? <laughs> I want to spend more time with my kids because at the end of the day, if I'm on my deathbed, I'm not going to say, man, I really wish I would have worked 60 hours a week and made 16 bucks an hour. It's no, I wish I would have taken my kids to South Africa or my husband and I would have, you know, gone to Australia or, or, you know, whatever that means, or I was able to buy my mom a house. Those are the things that I work towards. And so the reason why I'm saying all this is when you create a recruiting culture in your business, those things are possible. And we're going to get into that a little bit more here, but let's kind of start off with the beginning of March here. Um, we just had 22 hardcore released. I know a couple of you, um, I think, I'm not sure who, I think Kathleen, I know you ordered it. Um, and I think Robert, you said you did it today. Um, but we're going to be doing a team wide challenge group on the 21st. And there's multiple reasons why we're doing this, not just to go, okay, we're doing this as a team. It's that um, this is our chance to be product of the product. And so when I say team-wide challenge group, you better expect to be doing it every single day because being product to the product is what's going to build that trust, okay? If you just simply invite and invite and invite and you don't say day one of this program, day two, day three, day four, people aren't going to really see that commitment from you. So why would they put their trust in you if you are kind of half asking it, right? So being product of the product is a, it's not the only thing that we need to do in this business, but it is a very important element. So we are going to be able to create our own before and afters by um, doing a team wide 22 hardcore challenge group. Plus it'll be fun to do it as a team because we all know each other or most of us do. Hi Courtney. I can't see you, but I can see you're on. Um, okay. So another, um, Hey Robert, can you put your, um, Thing back on mute. I can hear yeah. that. <laughs> um, he's got twins as well and another one. So I, I feel you. Um, um, oh, the seven day Shakeology sampler. By the way, all these updates that I'm telling you about, they're in your coach online office. Hi, Lillian. I can see you now. Um, seven day Shakeology sampler. Um, super important. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> this is Courtney's first call. Um, Seven day Shakeology sampler. We've got every single flavor in there. So if you've got somebody that's like, well, I kind of want to try it first. First, I blow through those objections. But if really, honestly, they just want to um, try Shakeology and you don't know what sample or I'm sorry, what flavor to provide them, get them on that seven day sampler. That way they get the whole realm of what we offer. Okay. So that's a brand new product that we have not had before. Um, I can't remember the price, but it's in your coach online office. If you, for those of you that are new, if you're in your coach online office, you look to the right, it says, um, news and updates and you've got all that on the right hand side. Okay. All right. So let's bust into this, um, this recruiting culture and how to recruit like a boss. Um, a couple of you kind of missed the intro here, but you can watch the recording. Um, but I want to talk about retail and retail can only get you so far in this business. And it's also going to burn you out if you are going to rely on retail only to help you build your business. Because I'll tell you, the company was smart in how they set things up for us and a little bit of motivation for us because we get 25%. Like, that's a good commission, right? But it's not fantastic. So to be able to build a thriving business on commission only, 
you're going to have to be selling 20 challenge packs a month. I'm sorry, a week. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to sell 20 challenge packs a week because then that takes us from the sharing coach to the selling coach. And that's a no, no. Um, so retail only gets you so far because you need more than just the personality that's going to be inspirational and you need people to look at you as the person that they want to build a business with because i think a lot of us have a hard time going from the coach mindset to the business mindset but helping people can mean a plethora of things helping people doesn't have to mean that you just help people with their health and fitness goals think i mean you're all here right now okay it, at some point in your life, you trusted me to be your upline and for me to show you how to run this business, right? I am helping you. I'm helping you start a business. I'm helping you with whatever goals you have, whether that's quitting a current job, uh, creating a, you know, a side income, whatever that is. So helping people doesn't have to just mean losing 10 or 20 pounds. It could mean changing their life financially and exactly what we just talked about in the beginning. Or it could be both. You know, there's nothing to say that, I mean, there's so many coaches that start businesses that are not in their ideal body shape, but they start these businesses and along the way, not only do they grow a business, but they also get in the best shape of their life. And I kind of feel like I started there. I mean, I was pretty athletic before, but I now am in the best shape of my life because of this business. And I have my upline to thank and Sarah, oh my gosh, you guys, if you haven't seen Sarah's transformation, she is knocked down gorgeous. She's like buff now <laughs> because you know that's she is actually a great example thank you for raising your hand she called me out of the blue one day we used to work together and she just called me out of the blue and I was like is this the right Sarah <laughs> and she was like I've been watching you and I'm ready to change my life and I was like what like every coach dreams of that phone call she's like I want to get in shape I want to change my life and I want to build a business doing it and so for me to help her was not just to help her lose weight but to help her start a business so I want you to think about that thank you take off my high heels um so it's just it's a pay it forward business it's a pay it forward business however you want to look at it um so like i was saying the it's one thing to be inspirational. It's one thing to be motivating, but you need people to look at you and say, I want to be a business partner with this person. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about a little bit here. Um, because I'll tell you, I always, I hear so many coaches say, you know, I can hit success club. I can sell a challenge pack. I can run a challenge group. Hi Nikki. Um, but I can't attract business builders. And maybe, maybe that's you. Maybe you feel like, you know, I'm comfortable with selling challenge packs. Um, I'm comfortable with running a group. But where's those business builders? Where's my business partners? And I know I've said it a million times in my business too. And they are few and far between because, you know, 20% of the people do 80% of the work. Um, but to hit a success club and to sell challenge packs, you've got to be proof of the product. You've got to be positive. You've got to be encouraging. But to recruit, you need to be so much more. Like I said, you need to present yourself as a leader. And you need someone to say, when they look at you, when they see your posts, they need to say, you know, I want to build a home business and I want to be successful and I want to do it with that person. Um, it goes way beyond just, hey, that person could help me and she's inspiring and I can lose some weight, right? They are two very different elements, but both extremely important. And I've noted this in a couple of the, the posts on the team page, but the biggest mistake, if, if I can teach you anything right now, the biggest mistake I ever made in the first year of my business was not pushing, and I'm not pushing is the right word, not talking or sharing the coaching opportunity. I was strictly the fitness girl. I had no problem hitting success club. I had two challenge groups a month. I was working out all the time, but I... I saw all these other coaches blowing past me and I saw all these people forming these big, huge teams and I couldn't figure out why that wasn't happening to me. And what I learned about a year and a half in was that I was not presenting the coaching opportunity. I was not sharing how coaching was affecting my life. And at this point, a year in or so, I mean, I was probably making an extra, you know, 500 a week or more, 2000 plus a month 
which was phenomenal for me because I was just trying to work out and share it with people. So for me to be able to make $2,000 or more a month by just doing what I loved and working out was great, but I didn't talk about it. I didn't say anything about it. And I just, I just cringe when I think about all the opportunity I wasted and all the people that probably passed me by and didn't take me seriously when I did come to them with a coaching opportunity because I wasn't sharing that part of the business. And so it is so important, especially for those of you that are new, to understand that now is the time from the very beginning to start talking about the coaching opportunity and the coaching lifestyle. Okay, so let me go into my slideshow here. And we're going to talk about, well, how do I find those people? Like, how am I supposed to find those business builders? Give me one sec. Okay, Sarah, can you give me? Nope, I can't see. This part always takes a while. Okay, Sarah, can you see that? Can you get us on? Got it? Okay. So we're creating the recruit creating a recruiting culture in your biz. Okay, so let's talk about some team building basics. And then after I'm done here, um, going through some where do I find these people? What do I do? What do I say? We're gonna go into a couple of tips that I have for you. But first of all, let go of that fear. Um, most people would kill for this kind of opportunity. You know, we talked about this in the beginning of the call, but who doesn't want that freedom and that flexibility? Who doesn't want to spend more time with their family or be able to travel or pay off debt or simply do whatever they want to do on a daily basis? Um, you know, we really are in a need for entrepreneurial phase in our society right now. And so many people are going forward to being their own boss route because we have the flexibility with technology and we don't have to be tied to a desk every day. And for me, it's, it's allowed me to invest more into myself, invest more into my family, because I don't know if everyone knows about my background. You know, I was a real estate agent, which I started when the kids were born because I thought, oh, this is going to be super flexible. And, um, and I'm going to be able to work on my own schedule and still be home with the kids whenever I want. And that was a double edged sword. Um, I had people call me Saturday morning at 7 a.m., Friday night at 11 o'clock. And it was just, it got to the point where it was ridiculous. I did not have my own time anymore because everyone else's schedule came before mine if I wanted to make a sale in real estate. And that wasn't, that wasn't what I was looking for. The money was good, but I was not working for myself. And that's what this job coaching has provided me. So um, I think most people really kill for that opportunity. And we have it, you guys. Like we are it. We are doing it. Whether you have been doing this for two years and maybe you haven't gotten your motor running, maybe you are, you know, on the success train, or maybe you're brand new, whatever, but you're doing it. You're here, especially if you showed up tonight. And the people that you're going to be presenting this to, you sh they should be thanking you because I'll, I can't even tell you how many times I thank my coach for reaching out to me and for teaching me, you know, things in the beginning. And so many times, I've had coaches say, I am so blessed to have met you because my life has changed. And we should be paying this forward and sharing it. And I know there's a fear that goes along with, well, I'm scared to invite people. But no, like, this is a fantastic opportunity. And maybe for those of you who have not had that success yet, maybe you're brand new, you don't have that taste of success just yet to have that confidence. But when I'm talking to another mom and she's like, well, I really don't want to go to work and I don't know how I'm going to find a babysitter when my kids are sick. I'm like, hi, I have a solution. I do it. I promise it's real. <laughs> like I've been, I was looking for this for years and I found it and I'm excited to offer that to people. And at some point you will get to that point, but you need to understand that you'll get to that. You will get there. Um, let go Oh, sorry. Don't spill it right away. Go with the ease of conversation. So what I mean by this is when you're talking to people about this, um, there has to be an ease about it because what you don't want to do is be one of those word vomit people and make them run the other way. Because I think a lot of people have a fear of MLM, um, which is multi-level marketing. And technically, technically this company is, but I don't really care. Um, what did Carl say, Sarah, I think you were at that super Saturday. Would Carl call it 
uh, multi-level helping people or something like that. Like, I love the way he put that. Um, and that's what it is. Yes, there are levels to this business, but, but that's okay. That's us paying it forward. But my point is, is don't spill it right, right away when you're talking to people. So when I'm talking to another mom, I don't go for 10 minutes and tell her about challenge groups and tell her about the team and tell her about this. I simply say, I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. And what I did was I became an online coach so I can work from home. And that right there starts a conversation. They go, what? You did? You work from home? You can be your own boss? So you have to kind of ease into that conversation. So how do I find coaches? Um, Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, get on Instagram. It is not as overwhelming and intimidating as you might think. I did not use Instagram for my first year and a half. Again, my first year and a half was like, woo, Shakeology, woo, let's work out. And I was making all this great money, but I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, but um, Instagram is a fantastic way to find people in your niche market. Um, if you listen to the National Wake Up Call with Jen Rich Richardson two weeks ago, she talked a lot about Instagram. And if you use the explore option, it is fantastic because you can literally find people that are in your niche market. So um, if like for me, I would look up twin moms or female Marines or runners or, you know, whatever is kind of whatever my niche is. Right. And I would look those people up. I would look at their accounts and then I would comment and start a conversation or relationship and I'd follow them and they usually follow me back. Boom. They're going to see my stuff. So I have the power to search out the people I want to work with. They make it so easy for us. Um, uh, and you can also find your niche market via hashtags. Um, if you don't, if you can go to the explore option and what Instagram does is they will bring up all the people that fit, uh, basically like suggested friends, all of the people that you're already following, they will give you other accounts that fit that same mold. And then of course you can find your niche market via hashtags, which is what I just told you. Um, Facebook friends of friends that are in your niche market. Um, I have a lot of military friends and so we have a real strong camaraderie. And of course I want to bring more Marines and, um, military people into this, you know, coaching community because one, I think they'd be incredible at it because it takes discipline to be in the military. Um, but, um, lots of friends of friends and, um, Facebook groups outside of Beachbody. So I am part of a group called Portland Mamas. I'm part of a group that's called the Pathetic Runners, and it's kind of a, a joke group, but it's got like 15,000 people in there. And I've already met several people that I've started conversations with, and one who I believe is actually going to start one of my challenge groups. And so what you'll find is in these groups, especially if you're a mom, you'll hear people say, all right, mommies, you know, I really want to lose 30 pounds. I've tried everything. Does you have any suggestions? And you chime in. I wouldn't, you know, chime in and say, um, hey, I'm a beach body coach. But I, you know, would comment and say, you know, I tried so-and-so and this is what it did for me. And then I would private message them and say, hey, I saw that you were looking for some help. Um, this is what worked for me and I expand on what worked for me. And then once we kind of talk about that, um, uh, sorry, once we talk about that, then we go into, you know, what I do and what I offer. So Facebook groups outside of Beachbody is a really, really good way to meet new people because if you're not meeting new people and you're not expanding your network, then you were going to go through your warm market. You were going to dry up. You were going to get frustrated and you were going to quit. Trust me. I've seen it happen a million times. People decide that that's when it gets too hard. But if you start now and you start to build that network and you always have people in your pipeline, you're not going to run dry. Okay. Um, challengers, challengers make the best coaches. Um, I've got some amazing coaches on the team who started out in my challenge groups because you know, they fell in love with the products. They fell in love with the community. They fell in love with their own transformation and people started to notice. And when people start to notice, you know, I'll ask them, are people noticing your transformation? And they'll say, yeah, everyone at work is asking me what I'm doing. And I'm like, you realize that every person um, that is asking you what you're doing to work out, you could be having them in a challenge group and making an income off of that rather than sending them to me. I mean, thank you, but you could have your own business doing this. And challengers make fantastic coaches. Um, you got to keep your eye out for, you know, the coaches that are really invested. Um, more team building basics, invite, invite, invite. You got to get out of your comfort zone and invite people to this opportunity. We're talking about recruiting here. And sometimes I, you know, I, I named this call recruiting, but sometimes I feel like that's a little harsh and maybe it's because I am a Marine and I know recruitment means the Marine Corps, <laughs> but 
you can call it sponsoring, you can call it, you know, um, whatever you want to call it, but inviting people to this opportunity is so, so important. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but you've got to get out of your comfort zone back to the top, let go of that fear because nothing is going to change unless you do, right? Your business is not going to grow unless you invite people to join you. I don't care if you've been a coach for one day or hundred days, you got to start inviting now. And there are ways to invite, even if you're brand new, um, there's great ways to invite no matter what stage you are. As long as you have that excitement and that passion about what you're doing, that's going to be contagious. Um, and then, like I said, always find new contacts daily. Um, find at least five new people. Go through your friends list and um, look at their friends and see, all right, who fits my niche? You know, if you are, you know, like say in Robert's case, going through some friends and he's got some other, um, you know, dads with kids, married or unmarried, doesn't matter, you know. He can start inviting to those people or if he's got some friends from the past, look at their friends. Um, and then I message three people per day. So, all right, people are watching. And I think this is something that people don't quite understand. Um, you may not get 400 likes on a picture, even if 400 people saw it, but I guarantee that a lot of people are watching you. So it's really, really important to be real. Um, you know, when you're posting like Facebook, Instagram, these are your storefronts. Social media is such a huge tool in, in recruiting. And so you need to present yourself as professional and real and, and not post, you know, conflicting lifestyles. If you're a coach and you're living the lifestyle, then live it a hundred percent, but don't post pictures of you taking shots at happy hour on a Friday night. And then you doing a workout Saturday morning. Like that's not real professional, right? <laughs> um, but uh, post about your team. Post about your challenge groups. Even if you don't have a team right now, you're part of one. Post about that. Post about how you get to be on a team call with people from all over U.S. and Canada that you've never met before, but that you're all building a business together. Post about your challenge groups. Um, post about your own journey, good and bad. Um, but just be real. Bottom line, be real. Don't think, and I think this is the one thing that holds people back, and they think about what should I post? What should I post? Post exactly what you're talking about or what you're thinking about or what you're feeling. Be real. That's what people want to see. Um, and you got to present yourself as a leader that you want to be, right? You may not have a team of, you know, a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand coaches underneath you, but you are a leader because you started your own business. From now, like whenever you started, you are a CEO of your business. Be that leader. Present yourself as that. And like I said, post about your journey, good and bad. Um, that's supposed to say connects from trust. <laughs> Typo. Um, but it, it, um, it builds trust by connecting and by being real. Because then people see that, hey, you know what? She's not perfect. He's not perfect. And that's okay. Um, I can trust that person with my, um, with my business and my fitness journey because I trust them. Um, and I've even talked about some of my frustrations with my business. Um, but I mean, you, you don't want to post about, oh, everything sucks right now, but you know, just be real about this. And of course, consistency. Those of you who've been on my team for a while know that consistency is the word that comes out of my, mo my mouth the most, but consistently be, um, doing all these things that we're talking about. And then, um, share your success on, sh on social media to give it value. Be the leader and the team that people want to be a part of. You've got to create that excitement. You are the one that's going to be attracting these like-minded people, right? So if you're excited about being on a team call, if you're excited about a challenge group starting, share that. Don't keep that to yourself because when you keep that to yourself, nobody knows what you're doing, right? Oops, oops, oops. Okay, let's talk about getting out of your warm market. And I think it's, it's easy to, to be in your warm market and to invite people that you have on your, your dream team list. But what do you do when you run out of those people, because it will happen, trust me, it'll happen sooner than you think. Usually it's about three months when people run out of people, they've hit success club, they run out of all their friends and family, and then they're like, shoot, I don't know anyone else, I quit. Which in the realm of things, you can't build a business, the business that you have envisioned in your head, that's not gonna take you three months and it's not gonna take you six months. I've been in this business for three years and I still have a long way to go, okay? But um, establish your target market by finding three to five things that describe you. 
Now, this is what I call your niche market or your niche market, whatever you want to call it. Um, post about them on your page weekly to attract those like-minded potential coaches. Um, now, on my page, I do a variety of things. I do um, like workout gear, shoes, fashion, kids stuff, recipes. Um, I ask questions to other runners. I talk about my marriage. You know, whatever describes me that I know that if I post somebody that is going to be like-minded um, is going to get me, right? And if someone doesn't get you, good. Tell them to go away. We're not trying to attract people that don't get us. You're trying to attract your tribe. But you have to post about them on your page weekly and you'll start to see who's paying attention. If you get the same 10 people liking your stuff or commenting, those are the people that are in your tribe, right? Engage, ask questions, build relationships. I am a huge fan of asking people's opinions. I put up a post today about two different dresses that I'm going to wear on the cruise. And I think, I don't even know how many comments I got, maybe 30, 40. Um, but all of those people that I, you know, I'm engaging with and I'm seeing their name and their face come up and I'm asking them their opinion and I'm building a relationship with them that way. But, um, yeah, engaging is huge. Absolutely huge. And whatever you're into, if you're into horses, great. Talk about horses. If you're into uh, tattoos, ask about tattoos, whatever that is. Um, if you're a runner, ask about what people think about your new running shoes or what their favorite, um, uh, devices, you know, like a Fitbit or whatever. Um, but there's lots of things you can engage on to find who's going to be paying attention. Use the explore option on Instagram, just like we talked about. Um, I want to give some examples. Like I said, mine, twin mom, female marine. I love new kicks. That goes into my, I put a lot of Nikes up there that I like. Mom, moms who love wine. I find some of the funniest moms under that hashtag because it's all, it's, it's like, it's the side of moms that sometimes we try to hide. Like, no, I'm the perfect mom. I don't need wine to deal with my kids. BS. Yeah, when you've got more than one kid <laughs> or any kids at all, sometimes you need the wine. And so I'll use that hashtag and I'll find other moms that are just kind of fun. But don't do, don't do hashtag Shakeology, hashtag Beachbody Coach, hashtag 21 Day Fix, My Why, Transformation Tuesday, because the only people you're going to attract is other coaches. You know, you need to think about who you are individually, not what you're doing per se in terms of the business, but like if I'm doing something about food, I will do like um, a foodie gram or um, let me think here, food porn. Um, anything that's going to, I feel like it's going to reach the same people that are into the same stuff as me, but it's not necessarily going to always be reaching Beachbody coaches because it drives me insane when other Beachbody coaches that I don't know follow my page. <laughs> um, host a free group. Again, we're talking about getting out of your warm market here. Host a free group. You can do a seven-day Shakeology group. This is a fantastic thing to do now that we have the trial packs because not only are you going to get a small commission on that Shakeology sample pack, but you're also going to be getting new contacts. And if you haven't watched how to run a successful free group, the team call, make sure you watch that before you host a free group. I guarantee it will change your entire group. Um, you could do a seven day clean eating group. And by the way, that call is in, on my YouTube channel under Team Fit for Life Team Calls. Um, seven day clean eating group, that's a good one. It's a very good transition uh, group for people who want to be, um, that you can have into a challenge group eventually. Um, you can do a seven day healthy habits. Anything that, that's gonna be a transition where you can have people either go into coaching or go into challenge groups or five day crock pot. I mean, there's a million you can do. Um, but free groups are fantastic to get new contacts because what, again, watch that team call on what to do, but, um, you get a lot of referrals that way. All right. Another one here, you could start a blog. Um, this is one that I have started, but I'll tell you, I haven't gotten to the point that I want to, <laughs> um, but if you have that extra time, starting a blog is fantastic. And you don't need to be a killer writer to have a blog because I know a lot of coaches, they'll take their Facebook posts and they'll put them on the blog. <laughs> but what the blog is, and this is why I really like it, and I have a friend that's going to be working on mine, a professional web designer. 
Um, but what it does is allow, allows you to create a landing page for your business. So you can either put that on your Instagram account, you can put that on your Facebook page, and then on the blog, you can have certain sections about who am I, what is coaching, what is Shakeology, transformation stories, recipes. And so it's your one big page where people can come together, they can subscribe to it. And every time you make an entry, they will see that. It's an email subscription. Um, plus you can meet other bloggers that way, invite them to join into a challenge group. Bloggers make great coaches um, because other bloggers, because they, most of them already have a network. They already have a community. And so they can make fantastic coaches and transition their blog into a coaching blog as well. Um, referrals. You can offer a prize or a gift for anyone who brings in two challengers. And so say you've got a challenge group starting, you've got a challenger, you say, hey, you know what, I'm doing a competition here, a little friendly competition. If you can bring in one or two friends and they get the same program package that you did, um, I'm going to give you a prize or something. And that's really fun. And it could be something simple like the Fixate Cookbook, or it could be like a really cool water bottle. We've got some awesome ones on the website right now. And you guys, we all get discounts and that kind of stuff. Um, but I do these incentives even in my, just my regular challenge groups for people that do really well or they interact more. I send them a $10 um, tumbler and it's, it's fun. You know, people love to get gifts like that. And so if you offer incentives like that, then you get a referral, you get a new customer and you get, you know, more successful points. Um, use a flyer method, messaging or mass email to friends and family about the referrals. Hey, I'm doing this. If you know anyone that's interested and they need coaching, this works pretty well. Um, or, you know, when in terms of talking about coaching, um, you could send out a mass email and say, hey, I'm doing a business. I'm super pumped about this. I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for people who want to work from home, create that side income and have that flexibility. Um, there's no shame in reaching out because you might have a friend that maybe isn't interested, but maybe their next door neighbors but complaining to them about how they want to quit their job, right? You just never know. Um, use your current friends, same sort of concept there, and then have your friends post an image. Now this goes into the free group team call that I was talking about. Um, but if you are doing a challenge group, you can have your friends post an image on their timeline that says, Hey, I'm doing Marcel's challenge group. It's free. Does anyone else want to come with me? And that's going to bring you new contacts, which then goes into new potential coaches. Okay. Um, so when you're talking to potential coaches, this is kind of getting to the meat and the potatoes here. When you're talking to any and all potential coaches, anyone that you've talked to, get them into our team sneak peek group. I leave it open um, all month, and then we start a new one at the end of every month. But I leave it open because I have a lot of people that have questions for me. And I say, hey, I've got this great group. It just finished, but you can go through it on your own time, and you can watch the videos. And then as soon as you're done, I'll check in with you. How does that sound? But I do all the hard work for you guys. I set up the team sneak peek. I have made all the videos. All you have to do is put people in there, okay? Because I feel like some people want, they want to know that there's more to it than maybe just talking to you, right? They want to know there's a team involved and there's a community involved. And the sneak peek is fantastic for that. Um, again, going back to keep it short and sweet. Uh, don't overwhelm them with information when you're talking to potential coaches. Take it conversation by conversation. Don't send out a three-page thing about what coaching has, has done for you. Um, take, it, take it easy. Um, when you are signing up, and this is kind of jumping the gun here, but when you are signing up coaches, I have posted this website in the page, but again, we've got a lot of new coaches. Coachingcodes.com is a fantastic way. I encourage you to write that down. It's free. It was designed by another coach. Uh, but it's a fantastic way to send people your direct link. You would type in your coach ID number, your domain name, your screen name, and it will provide all these different links for whatever you want. So if someone says, I want to get the 21 Day Fix Extreme Challenge Pack, I'll go into coaching codes, I'll put in my information, it'll say Challenge Packs, I'll click on that, I'll find 21 Day Extreme, and it, it's my direct link, it's only mine. Um, it's better than sending them your main website and saying, okay, click on shop, click on challenge packs, click on this, scroll down. It just gives them the direct link. Um, and if they say they have signed up, but you don't get an email or see it in your coach online office, check in with them because sometimes maybe someone has bought something in the past and they might've gone to another coach. You don't want to lose that coach. To the random person. 
you have five business days to switch them to you. Okay, so pay attention to that. Okay, let's get into some examples real quick here. Um, so these are invite examples to our sneak peek. And I will copy paste these and put these in the team page as well. Um, I added the dude for you, Robert. So, hey lady, um, this might seem random, but I'm adding a few people to a group I'm hosting for people that are interested in being their own boss. Um, it's what I like to call sneak peek into coaching, where I talk about what I do, how I built my business to what it is now. Your name's been in my head for a while now, and I wanted to reach out. Would you like to be included? So it's, it's sweet, it's short, right? I told them a little bit about, um, I, I just cut to the chase. I'm hosting a group for people who are interested in being their own boss. Um, and I tell them, you know, what it's going to include. I'm going to talk about what I do and how I built my business because I think that's the biggest fear in people is I don't know how or I don't know what to do. Well, Sneak Peaks is going to tell them exactly how I did it and how they can too. And it's important for you to add, your name has been in my head for some time now because that makes, you know, it shows them that you've been thinking about them. And if someone told me that, I'd be like, oh, really? You think I'd be good at this? No, thanks. You know, it's a compliment. Um, <clears throat> chances are, if you are asking them, then they have been in your head for a while, right? Because they're on your team, team like who you want to be on your team. Okay, so the response is yes. Awesome. I'll be adding you here shortly, and the group will run for three days. You don't have to do anything but take in the info and hopefully uh, find that it is what you might be looking for at this point in your life. I'll be tagging you each day to be sure that you're seeing everything. Feel free to message me anytime with questions. Looking forward to having you. So again, didn't go into a bunch of information because so that sneak peek group is going to take care of all that information. Of course, if they ask questions, absolutely answer it. But um, <clears throat> I'll keep it short and sweet. The response is no. And you're going to get more no's and you're going to get yes. That's fine because the more no's you get, the closer you get to yes, right? And also, the more no's you get, that's more people that know what you're doing. And so it might just mean not right now. Um, no worries at all. I'd be kicking myself if I didn't at least extend the invite to you. You've been on my mind lately, and I can really see you being successful with this, but I totally get it if it's not the right time for you. If you can think of anyone who might benefit from extra income working at home, just holler and shoot me a message. Have a great day. There's no animosity. There's no like butt hurt, like, oh, they hate me. No, it's just not the right time for them. <clears throat> all right sample conversations for inviting to the coaching opportunity and don't worry about writing all these down like i said i will have these in the team page but at least i want you to kind of hear them and how i say them hey lady this might uh seem really random but i'm building a strong team of ladies dudes to run their own online coaching business and your name has been in my head for some time now so i wanted to reach out i'd love to work with leaders such as yourself, who are also looking for extra income and job flexibility. Would you be interested in chatting more about it? Um, and so this is really going straight into the coaching opportunity. Um, I don't think, I can't see everyone that's on the call right now, but I think uh, Hope, uh, Hope Hinkle was just doing this. Her and I were just talking a few days ago, and she said, I'm frustrated because I can't build my team. And they said, well, how many people be invited? And she said, none. <laughs> so well, how are we supposed to build a team if you're not inviting people, lady? And so I, she wrote down eight names of people that she wanted on her team, and she went through and she basically did these scripts. And I think she has two signing up. Okay. Um, so sometimes it doesn't always have to be an invite to the sneak peek. If you know someone that you really, really want on their team, on your team, go straight for the coaching opportunity. Um, so the response is yes. Great. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and what intrigues you about the coaching opportunity? And I always want to know, tell me more about yourself. Tell me more about your situation because I want to know what's going to be driving this. Um, and then they talk, they tell me, great. Wow. This really sounds like that you can get a lot out of this job. It's been a godsend for our family for the past three years. And again, that's my personal story. Maybe that's yours, but I would suggest you put it personal about yourself, right? If you're not related to the business. Um, it could be a mix of, like in Sarah's case, um, you know, this business has been phenomenal for my own transformation, but it's also allowed me to support my family by getting myself a place. So um, I can spend tons more time with the kids now instead of being stuck at a job that I really don't care for. Uh, the freedom to work from anywhere has opened up so many doors financially. Is there a program that's caught your eye lately that you want to start with? So you're just getting straight into kind of what they need, right? You could be talking about their situation for days. But what you want to do is you want to cut to the chase. And if they said yes or interested, let's get them signed up. Why wait? Um, <clears throat> being a product of the product is key. 
because our customers need to trust us and see that the products really work. If you tell me what kind of program you might enjoy, I'd be happy to help you choose one. It's honestly the best way to get started. And we all know that. We can't be successful coaches and coach people with integrity if we aren't ourselves uh, drinking Shakeology and using the products. Um, and then they say, yeah, I'm really into you know, lifting. I want to get shredded. Well, it sounds like you'd really have the best results and you would love the hammer and chisel challenge pack. It'll get you shredded, help you tons with your nutrition, especially at your 30 days of Shakeology, which is a key piece to your nutrition and a cornerstone to our business. Oh, and the icing on the cake is that your sign-up fee gets waived with the challenge pack. I'll send you a link to get started, and once you complete the process, shoot me a message saying, let's do this. So that is just wrapped into one. That is going straight for the, the meat, their, the steak there, and going straight to the coach. So what if they say no, right? Which you're going to hear a lot, and that's okay. Let me move my thing here. Okay. Um, I would say, no worries. I know when I first sign up, I was a commitment freak about it and had no idea if I would even be good at coaching. But what I found was I was able to literally get in the best shape of my life. And when I began sharing um, what worked for me, I started making my extra income. Now, after three years in the business, this is my full-time mommy job, making almost five figures a month now. And I always kind of throw in like, I hate talking about money, but at the end of the day, don't we all wish to be financially free? Um, <clears throat> just to give you a quick rundown of what I do, just to clear anything up, because I think um, like I had this this um, situation actually happen the other day. I reached out to a girl. She's a personal trainer. She's um, she has a good presence on social media, and she's a mom. She's got a young child, and so I reached out and asked about coaching, and she said I am not allowed to train other people outside of my gym. And I was like, No, 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 no. I'm not asking you to train people. And I had to kind of go into this and explain to her. So she just straight up was like, Nope, can't do it. And so I didn't want to be like, Oh, okay, thanks, because. There was clearly some unanswered questions there. So this is the kind of stuff that I send people so we can clear things up. Um, just to give you a quick rundown of what I do, just to clear anything up, we as coaches are 100% online. So virtual coaches, I guess you could say, which means we can help people all over US and Canada, not just locally. We can offer fitness solutions through the Beachbody products who make programs like P90X, Insanity, 21 Day Fix, Shakeology. We're not trainers, we're not nutrition experts, but rather we are a team of motivated individuals who are offering coaching and support as our customers complete these programs. They've been a fantastic solution to so many of my fellow mom friends since getting to the gym isn't so easy with kids, you know? <clears throat> and I added that because that's gonna be my niche market. The person I'm talking to is gonna be probably most likely another mom. Not always, but sometimes. Um, if you do decide to sign up and join my team, the initial cost to sign up is just you getting your own health on track with the program in Shakeology. So essentially, the worst case scenario in all of this is you getting into shape. If you know of anyone who wants to get into shape and start their own business doing it, just let me know. Good chatting with you. So, I, you know, there was a lot of information there, but again, there was a reason for it. Okay, dealing with objections. Um, I totally get that it might seem spendy, but in the grand scheme of things, it's fairly amazing considering you are starting your own business and getting into shape at the same time. Keep in mind, you're not making an investment in a garage full of products that you have to sell to earn any money. You are investing in yourself and your newfound business venture. The worst case scenario is that you get into shape, right? Take your time to think about it. I believe in you and think you could be very successful at this if you want to earn that extra income and have the freedom we all crave. Just give me a shout if and when you're ready. I'm always here for questions. So again, I'm going to squash the objection because a lot of people don't understand that this business is not an Avon business. This is not a Mary Kay where you have to buy $1,500 worth of makeup to get started. The only cost to get started is the cost to invest in themselves. And like I've said here, the worst case scenario, even if you decide this is not the situation for you down the road, worst case scenario, you get into shape, right? All right, so at the end of the day, you guys, like we are one big happy family and every single face that I see here, all of these are from Summit and I know there's gonna be a lot of new faces on the new pictures of Summit this year, but every single face here has been affected in some way, um, whether that is through fitness, whether that is in business and I wanna bring more people into this family because I wanna pay it forward because I know how much this business has changed my life and it's also brought all these faces into my life. Some I knew previously and some I never had met. There's a couple people in these pictures that this was the first time I ever met them in person. 
and we're business partners and we want to bring in people that are like-minded people. And don't worry, Robert, there are more guys on the team. <laughs> but this is just the people that showed up this time. All right, hang on. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to go through a couple of tips here. And then we will be all done. By the way, I want to share this with you. I posted a picture, and this is a gift. I don't know if you can read this. This is my seven year old daughter's handwriting. She wrote these notes to me while I was cooking dinner. So I was, she was my trans, we call it transcriber. <laughs> And so I, I had to share that because I thought it was really cute that she's like, I'll help you get ready for your team call. I was literally cutting chicken at 6.15 trying to get them dinner ready. Raw chicken. <laughs> so tip number one, use what time you have. I talked to Kathleen about this in the beginning of the call. Uh, many of you were not on the call yet. Use what time you have. We are all super, super busy. But you have to be able to block that time out and find those magic minutes in your day? Is that standing in line at the grocery store? Is that sitting in the car waiting to pick your kids up? Is that sitting at a really, really long red light? I know you're not supposed to, but sometimes I'll do it when I'm in traffic. And I mean bumper to bumper, I don't drive in Texas. <laughs> but like bumper to bumper traffic, um, you all have those extra minutes. I think you'd be surprised how much you can accomplish in one day if you take that time that you have and use it wisely. Tip number two, feel the fear, but do it anyway. Um, I heard this funny thing about fear and why we as humans uh, feel fear. And it goes back to the caveman days. And we had that fear to warn us, right? So if you go around the corner of your cozy little cave and you see a saber toothed tiger, that fear is supposed to be a protection mode, right? That fear is supposed to make us run so we don't get eaten alive. Well, we don't really have that problem so much anymore. I mean, I know in my neighborhood, I, you know, maybe there's a couple of cougars in the neighborhood. <laughs> when did you get that? Oh. <laughs> maybe some cougars in the neighborhood but there's no saber tooth tigers um but um the fear is excitement you know that fear I, I heard a quote fear is excitement but you stop breathing in fear <laughs> because I know for me when I'm on to something big I get scared I get super scared I literally can feel my body change my heart starts to race my cheeks get red I get sweaty pits, <laughs> but that's excitement because I know that I'm just about to head into something big and new. And we need that fear in order for us to get past our current state, right? We need that fear to push us into another zone that's going to allow us to continue to grow, evolve, and progress as humans and in our business. Um, number three, lean into the, I can't say this word very well vulnerability. <laughs> Lean into that. Now, I know how hard it is to share our heart and our journey along the way, our struggles. I get that. But it's putting yourself out there. And it's scary, but it's putting yourself out there that's creating those, um, those relationships. Um, you know, kind of touching on that, there's times where I feel super scared. And I think they're going to say no. They're going to say no. They're going to make fun of me. They're going to think I'm stupid. And then I have to honestly stop. I have to stop and say, okay, am I a failure? Am I something to be laughed at? Am I doing something absolutely ridiculous? The answer is no, I'm not. What I'm doing is amazing. It's changed a lot of lives, mine included. So I'm not a failure and I'm not doing anything bad or illegal. Like what I do is really important to a lot of people who people's lives. And I have to kind of sometimes talk myself off of that ledge. And in order for me to be able to take that step forward. But once you get your mindset on what you're doing is important and why you're doing it, and you get that confidence in that, then it's easier to put yourself out there. But it does take time. Um, number four, and this is so, so important when it comes to recruiting you guys. If you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no, right? It's just that simple. And don't be the person that makes decisions for other people. You have to be able to offer this opportunity and allow them to make that decision. And if they say no, fine, no big deal. They said no. Maybe that means not right now. Maybe that means never. It doesn't matter. But why, why hold that to yourself? Why make that decision and think they probably wouldn't be interested? Nah, this is not their thing. You have no idea. Yeah, I mean, going back to the Sarah example, 
I honestly never would have reached out to her. I just, I didn't think it was her thing. I actually kind of thought she'd make fun of me. I don't know why, but I always saw her as, you know, she was always, we worked in a restaurant together. She was a bartender. And so she was kind of like this fast moving, like knew what she was doing in the business thing. And I'm like, she would not want to be part of what I'm doing. But that was so wrong. And it's such an amazing thing that she actually reached out to me. I wish I would reached out to her earlier. But if you don't ask, the answer is always no. And last thing here, tip number five, offer coaching to everybody, right? Um, there's a lot of times, especially with um, a lot of my challengers that are also um, fellow military, I will always offer the coaching opportunity to, to them because first of all, they get their fee waived, so they don't have any business fees and they're going to be getting their discount on the Shakeology. Why not offer them the coaching opportunity? But even then, even if they are um, civilian and they're not military, offer it to them because they're going to get that discount long-term. And once they're in the challenge group and they're seeing the progress and, you know, and you're encouraging them and you're telling them, you know, I think you'd be really good at this. They're already a coach. They're already into this thing. And it starts to kind of sink into their head that as they go through this challenge group, that they could really do this. And then they're already off. They already signed up as a coach. So, all right. So that, that is the last tip of the night. I know we've got some sleepy people. I can see it in Courtney's eyes <laughs> because she's three hours ahead. Um, but I wanted to, if anyone had any questions before we take off, I will open the floor here. And if not, I'll let you guys go, but I'll give you about uh, eight seconds to answer a question. Ask a question. You better hurry, Sarah. I can't do it. Um, so the two wide challenge group now, can we invite any of our challengers to it as well? Or are we just doing it with the coach? The, the 22 hardcore? Uh-huh. Yeah, invite everybody. Okay, that's Maybe what I yeah. thought. But then I was like, oh, no, was I'm not supposed to be telling them that we were doing this huge group? Okay, oh, so no, good. No, no wide that it would be fun instead of led by one coach we're all doing it together and we're all invited okay. to do it with them. okay perfect good good cool yeah. all right Anyone else? all right raise your hand if you're scared to invite people to be a coach a little bit i'm working on it Lindsay's like a finger okay so i want to real quick uh kathleen tell me one fear you have why are you scared what do you think is going to happen You're on mute. You're still on mute. Hi, sorry. I fear rejection. I mm -hmm. fear being told no. I fear. Um, oh, that's an authentic moment. Um, <clears throat> I fear that. Uh, somebody may not like me and I hear just being told no. Okay. What's going to happen if you say no? Um, it's a rejection of me personally. Okay. But this is not a personal thing. Right? Mm hmm Right. But will the world stop spinning? Will, you know, like, what's the person? They just say no. Mm -hmm. But that's right. if you don't ask, you always know. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You can not invite 10 people and they can all say no because you didn't invite them. Or you can invite 10 people. Right. A rock star right. comes to this right. You never know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lindsay, what's, what are you afraid of? Oh, um, I'm not scared of inviting people. I don't, I'm not scared of rejection. Um. Well, I mean, I am scared, but I don't, I mean, people say no, they say no. My biggest fear of inviting coaches is that I will let them down as a coach. I don't feel like I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, to train them to be successful. That's the part that's scary. And so I could ask all day, all day, every day. I don't care about that. It's just like once they are coached, I'm like, okay, I feel this huge responsibility. Like I have another child and I have to raise them and be there for them 24 seven and, and all of that. And that's a, that's, it's, it's a huge responsibility to, I feel like. Yeah. 
Let's make it a, um, a task to make this a recruiting month, right? Um, I'm going to be, since we're all friends on Facebook, I'm going to be doing everyone a favor and post a picture of the recruit trip I'm going on. <laughs> so it might help you recruit too. Um, but, you know, make this, make this a big month for you. Make a goal. Write down your list. Write down your dream team list of who you want to work with. Who do you want to be your business partner? There's got to be a couple people in your life that are like, yeah, this is love to work with them. They should be your spy. Write those names down. Shoot out those invites, the sample ones that went up with your team. Shoot out one of those. Do it. Hold your breath and walk away. Just do it, right? If they say no, they say no. That's okay. But someone's probably going to say yes, all right? And then you deal with that part later on. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you for being here tonight. I will have this recording up for you if you need to look at it again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.